probably looks a lot like the same stuff you could buy on Amazon, but it's not. It's 24 volt, extremely bright, uh, high quality RGBW LEDs within this. When you get this on a roll, it is 10 meters. You can put two of these together on one channel of any of our DMX power supplies. So you got different connectors. You get the whip. One comes already attached to the roll, so you do not need to do anything on one end originally. But there's a lot of different adapters, like this little one that lets you uh, do a 90-degree turn. And you have a splice connector allowing you to put two together. If you're really, really good with this stuff, what we do, uh, I say we, Chris does this, you cut it right at the edge, not on it, but at the edge of the copper connectors. And you lay them down together like this and you run a bead of solder, very precise, right across of it. Something that might help is this is a 3M adhesive. It's just get a little piece of plastic or something that you could stick this to that'll become part of it where you could cut and trim the sides. It'll give it some stability and strength uh, to the solder joints. That is if you're really, really handy. If you're not really handy at soldering, that's what these connectors will do. The tape is polarity sensitive, meaning that uh, you can't just plug this in from either side. On the tape, you'll see little letters and a plus sign. The plus sign goes with the black and the letters correspond to the, the color. You have red, green, blue, and white. Right now, the plus is on the bottom. If I plug this in, it will not work because it's sending uh, the white to the plus. Easy fix. Just go to the other end of the cable. And there it is, plus is on the top. You're gonna want to peel back a little bit of the 3M tape and just cut it. Just cut the little piece off so it's not in your way. Um, that way the contacts are visible. You wanna put this in, if you look inside all these connectors, there are five little pins that are sticking up the plastic compresses down, making the firm connection here. You wanna go in, not too far out, or it'll fall out and not make connection, but you go too far in, you will short it. So uh, put it right on top where you could feel that it's sitting on the five little pins. Close this down with your hand. Apply good pressure from both sides until you're bringing it down. Once you've got it just about closed, we use some channel locks and just squeeze down on the edges. They will lock into place. If you were to mess this up, not the end of the world, you can always just go to the next, uh, the next line. If I did this right, we're gonna get some lights coming on right now. And there you go. Same exact way with uh, the splice connector. On the splice connector, when we go to this other side of the tape, it is plus on the top. So when you get a new roll to splice into it, it must also be plus on the top so that all the, the colors correspond. You'll do the same exact thing. Peel back the two-way tape and stick it in crimp it down. I don't recommend trying this while it's still live. Just unplug it from the unit while you do it. And uh, the same rules apply with your 90 degree. We offer this really, really beautiful, beautiful uh, aluminum channel. You can uh, take the diffuser off. I don't recommend using screws in this because the bumps can affect the tape, but uh, if you use a good uh, two-way tape on the back, you can use a very, very tiny screw uh, with a small head just to secure it on there. Just lay your tape inside. You can uh, use a 3M adhesive or you don't really have to, it doesn't have anywhere to go. Although I do like using the tape, don't you, Chris? Because it keeps it, 
it keeps it completely even all the way to the bottom of the channel. So this is a product you will want to use whenever the tape itself is part of the, the look. If the tape is lighting something else and you can't see the LEDs, I wouldn't bother with this. But if this is exposed where you're not only lighting something, but you are also, uh, you don't want to be able to see each individual uh, LED color. The diffuser doesn't quite get rid of it altogether, but it completely softens this look, especially on a color change. You see how the red blends a lot, uh, a lot nicer than when it's out, out of the, the unit. Makes for a very pretty, almost neon look. It's a nice finished look. Anyway, always, as with any connections, always inspect all your wires. Tug on them, be sure they're not loose, and make sure there are no uh, stray wires shorting across any of the leads there. Okay. The 3M adhesive is extremely, uh, would you say powerful? It sticks. We've done commercial installs where uh, th this just doesn't come off. It is really good. What you'll notice on it, it's pretty cool. It's by design. When you first put it on, it is easier to take it off. But once, you're, uh, once your tape has been stuck down and it's been down for a long time, uh, it, it like cures and it uh, really sticks onto something. Sticks onto something. I'm done. Thank you for watching.